gains. Uh, so I'm back, going to the gym right now. Talked to you all about yesterday. Yeah, Trump won New York, whatever. And uh, Trump won New York and Bernie lost. So I think it was like a 60-40 split. So he got a third of the delegates. You know, that's pretty good. And, you know, I think he would have won it if all this closed primary bullshit and uh, all those, uh, those 100,000 voters in Brooklyn who switched from, uh, who were Democrats, but they were switched to uh, independents. Crazy how it was in Brooklyn. Hmm. And how Mayor de Blasio, the mayor of New York right now, says we should, uh, you know, we should uh, investigate this. And how the, I think someone's auditing the election board right now. It's just crazy, you know. It's all this bullshit. You know, you always thought one vote, one person, one vote. Well, there's a legal definition of that. You have to register. You have to register at a certain day. You have to register as a certain party. It's so stupid. Or how certain IDs don't count. What the hell? You know, I thought we, I thought this was America. Like Randy from South Park. Well, I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I thought I got one man, one vote. <laughs> Uh, I guess not. You know, that's a that's what gets me really mad. Um, I think on the way back, I'm gonna talk about should Bernie supporters uh, vote for Clinton if she's the Democrat nominee, and I'll talk about that on the way back. Cause right now, I really, I'm really lost in my thoughts. Uh, so I'll see y'all later. Bye. So, just left the gym. I'm walking through uh, this other parking lot. Oh, it's pretty cool, you know. I like walking through other neighborhoods. You know, cool niche area. Um, yeah, talk about my workout. Yeah, I did a lot of calisthenics. Uh, a lot of push-ups, a lot of pull-ups, a lot of dips. I had to, of course, I have to keep jumping up, whatever. I really don't care. Uh, so, I had to use a... There's also a machine in this 24-hour fitness... It's called the Gravitron. Basically, you the weight you put is the weight they take off your weight. And I put... So I weigh 160 right now. And how much did I take off? Shit, there we go. Um, I took out... I don't remember. I didn't write down. Fuck. Let's see if I remember. Yeah, I think I took off a... 80 pounds of my body weight, so I weigh 160 right now. No, I weigh, yeah, I weigh 160. So I basically was pulling 80 pounds. He was like, oh, that doesn't count, whatever. Well, you know, that's what I can do. And I was doing five sets of five of different grips. So I did a wide pull up, close pull up, did a hammer curl pull up, then I did a, a closed chin up and a wide chin up pull then in between each of those exercises I did dips um, same weight off uh, but then on my second calisthenic workout you do free weights so basically one calisthenic workout I'm going below my body weight another calisthenic workout I'm going above my body weight by putting like a 5 pound or 10 pound dumbbell in between my legs and sometimes I just use my own body weight that way I just get a full circle of of uh, I get a full circle of uh, calisthenic workout. Um, wait, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the question was: Should Bernie supporters vote for Clinton on uh, if she gets the nominee? I'll just say this: I'll only vote for Clinton if she picks Bernie as her VP. And I think Bernie has already said that I'm only going to be her VP if she does what I basically pushed for throughout the campaign. I want money out of politics. I want to try to uh, get a progressive judge. I want to uh, get a $15 minimum wage, which her own state just approved, but not her until recently. Hmm, Flip-flopping. Uh, what else? Oh. Uh, Money out of wage, minimum wage, uh, money out of politics. Minimum wage. Forgot that there are things, but mine's something else. Um, oh, universal health care. You know. Uh, tuition free college. 
Uh, um, but if not, I'm just going to vote for Jill Stein if she's on the ballot in Texas, which I believe she is. But if she's not, I might vote for Gary Johnson, the Libertarian Party candidate. And it's people say to me, oh, you're going to waste your vote if you know you vote for these third party candidates. Like, it's not a vote, waste of vote if you vote your conscience. I'm going to vote my conscience for Bernie Sanders if he's the nominee or, if, you know. But, yeah. Um, but if she's not, should Bernie, Clint, Bernie supporters still vote for Clinton? I'd say no. Because, again, I, I only encourage you all to vote for her. Vote for her if she puts beat Bernie as her VP. Because hopefully Bernie will be just pushing her to uh, uh, do the right thing. But, I don't know. I'd, uh... Yeah, so, if not, then don't. I wouldn't vote for her. She's a Republican and... She's a Republican at heart. She voted for the Iraq War. She doesn't support the reunification, the, the reinstallation of Glass-Steagall. She uh, supported the overthrow of Libya. She supports a no-fly zone in Syria, which President Obama doesn't agree with. So she agrees with Chris Christie. You know, she's going to shoot down the Russian jet. You know, because that's what a no-fly zone means. What the fuck? You know? Why do we care? You know? United States has more internal problems. You know, our foreign policy has been too focused, too, too, uh, uh, too uh, emphasized. We need to focus on our domestic policy. Plus, she takes money from private prisons. You know, I just don't get it, you know. But, no, I don't agree. You shouldn't vote for her if she's the, uh, if she's the Democratic nominee. Uh, Again, I would only encourage you to vote for her if she picks Bernie as her VP. But I also encourage y'all to, uh, you know, follow your conscience, you know, as well. I'd vote for, uh, again, if, she's not, if he's not the VP or the nominee, I'm going to vote for Jill Stein or Gary Johnson. you know, Because both of those parties are far left than Hillary Clinton. Way more progressive. Uh, I don't agree Gary Johnson on some... Uh, on some uh, biz- on some economic issues, he thinks the minimum wage is a non-issue. Okay, if it's a non-issue, if uh, you can, if you allow unions, you know, because in Denmark, I believe uh, the McDonald's employees they're paid twenty dollars an hour, but they don't have minimum wage. They're allowed to unionize. So if Gary supports unions, okay, I know Jill Stein does. I know Jill Stein's very. She's very intelligent. She's a Harvard MD. She uh, works in foreign, po- uh, works in a lot of grassroots movement. She's very knowledgeable. Uh, Gary Johnson is a former New Mexico, uh, New Mexico uh, governor for eight years. Uh, what else? Uh, you know, he's a first cannabis CEO, so you know he supports legalization. But yeah, I uh, I like them both, Jill Stein and Gary Johnson, and. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye.